Back in August, President Biden announced the first 10 drugs in the Medicare program, which would be the subject of price negotiations between the federal government and pharmaceutical companies. Shortly thereafter, those furious pharmaceutical companies attempted to defeat the measure in court. And now we have a major update from the president. And spoiler alert, it's great news. But before we unpack all that, if you haven't yet, please hit that like, subscribe, and the alert bell. Maybe check out my Patreon. I'd appreciate the support. All right, folks, I want to play this clip from President Biden. He announced this uh, just a couple of hours ago. And again, it's great news for Medicare recipients and their loved ones in the fight against big pharmaceutical. Very good news to share with you. In August, I announced that Medicare selected 10 prescription drugs for negotiation to lower the cost of those drugs for seniors, treating everything from heart failure to blood clots to diabetes and kidney disease, arthritis, blood cancers, Crohn's disease, and so much more. Just last Friday, a federal court blocked an attempt by Big Pharma and their allies to stop us from moving forward. So now, today, I can announce that the manufacturers of 10 drugs are coming to the negotiating table to lower prices. We're taking steps to participate in the negotiation program so we can give seniors the best possible deal. Folks, for decades, drug companies in America made record profits while Big Pharma worked to block Medicare from being able to negotiate lower drug prices for seniors. In fact, Americans now pay two to three times more than people in other countries for the exact same prescription drug made by the exact same company. So my administration finally took a step to change that. Last year, when we passed the Inflation Reduction Act with zero Republican votes, together with congressional Democrats, we lowered insulin prices to $35 and capped out-of-pocket drug costs at $2,000 a year for Medicare recipients. I've said it before and I'll say it again. For many Americans, the cost of one drug is the difference between life and death, dignity and dependence, hope and fear. And that's why we'll continue to fight to lower health care costs. And we will not stop until we finish the job. You have my word on that. Well done, Mr. President. Folks, that is phenomenal news. Okay, and again, just to recap the situation... Um, this is an article from The Hill which describes those 10 prescription drugs that the president mentioned. I will butcher the pronunciation, but you have Eliquis uh, for treating and preventing uh, – for the prevention and treatment of blood clots. It's made by uh, Bristol-Myers Squibb, which sounds like a Harry Potter character, and Pfizer. Uh, Zeralto, the prevention and treatment of blood clots, reduction for risk of patients with coronary or peripheral artery disease, Janssen Pharmaceuticals, uh, and, S or, and Tresto, which treats heart failure. Uh, it's made by Novartis. Uh, et cetera, and so forth. Novolog, which treats diabetes, and it's made by Novo Nordisk, okay? These were among the 10 prescription drugs uh, that were, again, the first, right? It's not, this. it does not begin and end here. This is the beginning, the first 10 drugs which are subject to price negotiations. And it's also been reported that, again, in the aftermath of this court decision and even before, once it looked like it was going to be blocked, these pharmaceutical companies signaled that they would, in fact, be coming to the negotiating table. Uh, all 10 manufacturers of the drugs selected for Medicare price negotiations will be participating, the White House said Tuesday, even as many of them are currently suing the administration in an effort to halt the process. Many of the companies told The Hill separately ahead of the October 1st deadline that they would participate. Uh, the White House confirmed this news in the announcement, which we just discussed. Um, and they point out that last year, 9 million Medicare enrollees spent $3.4 billion billion in out-of-pocket expenses on the selected drugs from those companies, okay? In part of the statement, this wasn't in the video, but for decades, Big Pharma fought to block Medicare from directly negotiating lower drug prices for seniors and other Medicare beneficiaries. Sorry, I just had a brain lapse there. President Biden and congressional Democrats finally beat Big Pharma and allowed Medicare to directly negotiate lower drug prices by passing the IRA, the Inflation Reduction Act. And as the president pointed out, and I'm glad he pointed it out because it's very important, this is, was only made possible, literally only made possible by President Biden and congressional Democrats in the Senate and in the House of Representatives. Republicans get zero credit for this, not 5% credit, not 1% credit, zero. And we should ruthlessly point that out at any time that Republicans signal that they played a role in it. They get no credit for this. All the benefit comes exclusively uh, thanks to the hard work and diligence of the president and Democrats, which goes to show as we head into an election year. The stark differences between the two parties. I mean, the differences manifest in a variety of areas, like it's a multidimensional you know, situation here. But again, as I've made the case that when it comes to being a responsible governing party, 
and producing a material benefit for the American people. Democrats are the only game in town. They're vastly superior in all ways to Republicans. It's not even close. And I'll remind everybody that this particular promise to you know, lower the price of prescription drugs with negotiation. I mean, there was a huge element of Senator Bernie Sanders' campaign, and the progressive influence on President Biden played a critical role. So progressives get to take a victory lap uh, as well. This was, you know, moderates obviously backed the measure as well, but this was a progressive mainstay, okay? this It required their energy, their persistence. But what's interesting is even Donald Trump back in 2015, 2016, campaigned on the idea of lowering prescription drug care by allowing Medicare to negotiate the prices. Even Trump recognized that because he was campaigning on a, a populist message, even though he was doing it from you know, a far right perspective. And I just want to remind you of this, OK? Medicare. So we're the biggest drug buyer in the world. We buy drugs to make people better. All of that's fine. But we don't negotiate the price of the drugs. When it comes time to negotiate the cost of drugs, we're going to negotiate like crazy, folks. So that's what he said to earn people's votes, okay? That's what he promised. But at the end of the day, he failed to deliver. Not only did he fail to deliver, he gave up the promise uh, in the first few days of his presidency after he was inaugurated. As the Democrats' uh, official Twitter page points out, Donald Trump talked, Dark Brandon delivered. And the contrast could not be starker. So again, to those of you out there who are on the fence for whatever reason, or you know people who are on the fence for whatever reason about the difference between Biden and Trump, Democrats and Republicans, you need to point to this because this would not have been possible under the Republican Party. I'll also point out in addition uh, to this Medicare Advantage, which is kind of a separate program, they plan to slash drug co-pays ahead of the negotiations between Medicare um, and uh, the, the pharmaceutical company. Medicare Advantage insurer Scan is getting ahead of the program's planned price negotiations by offering seniors free or $11 monthly, $11 monthly co-pays for 13, 13 name brand drugs, the carrier told Axios. They'll make the changes for the 2024 planned year two years before the first negotiated prices are supposed to take effect because this is the important part. The one downside to this phenomenal news is that the effects of the price negotiations between Medicare and the pharmaceutical industry won't go into effect for another two years, right? Still great because it's coming, but it's two years down the road. But President Biden's actions and the actions of the Democratic Party have actually prompted Medicare Advantage to slash co-pays on their own volition because they, they recognize what's coming. So they're getting ahead of the game, and they're doing it two years in advance. So this is going to benefit people in 2024, folks. This is phenomenal stuff. We don't have to wait for the government. We can have the rigor uh, and figure out additional ways ourselves, as Jaron Jawa Sharon Jawar, SCAN's chief pharmacy officer, said in an interview. Again, Phenomenal news, which once again, you know, illustrates one of the many, many, many stark contrasts between a competent, responsible governing party in the Democratic Party and the clown show, the cultish clown show that is the Republican Party. So again, spread the word. Uh, that way we can remind people that if you really care about benefiting yourselves and your loved ones and your neighbors and your society, then you should vote blue in the next election, no matter who.